Hey boo, what's up? So my name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan. First of all, I want you to root for your damn self. Okay, somebody gave me this water bottle. I thought it was pretty cool. Root for your damn self, okay? Hold on. Today I want to talk about sweating the small stuff. Because when you major, you know, Jim Rohn said, when you major in minor things, you lose. Or something like that. He said, don't major in minor things. And then Miss Vegan turned it into... Miss Vegan <laughs> turned it into, don't major in minor things, you'll, you'll lose. So yesterday on my Misfit Mondays call, somebody, so smart, somebody, this is genius, somebody said, don't sweat the small stuff. Okay, so let me tell you, here's an example, okay? You're not going to be successful on a raw vegan diet if you sweat the small stuff. All right, so today, I am running super low in fo- on food. I've been so busy working on my course, okay, which starts on Sunday. Um, I'm adding a lot of things and um, I'm just, I'm really busy with interviews and all these things that I'm doing, okay, working on my website. And so I had to run out today to get some food for today and tomorrow. I didn't really have enough, you know. I have like frozen bananas and frozen fruit, but I wanted some fresh, juicy fruit, okay. So I had to run to the store and all they had were these grapes that, like the vine looks so old and I love to buy grapes that have the vine that's really really green and thick and alive because that's how you know they're fresh but the vine on these grapes looks so goddamn old I was like oh what am I gonna do so you know what I did I tried the grapes I was like ooh, they're really good so I bought a bunch of bags okay I bought some rambutan I bought some of these tomatoes I bought some other things real quick put in the bag, ran home. Okay. Made my interview. Now I'm recording videos. And I just want you to know that so like a lot of people come to the raw food diet because they're perfectionists. I understand that. I am one as well, but I had to let it go. And you know, take my advice because for 6 years on the raw food diet, I was a perfectionist and I was losing. I was losing, okay? I was trying to do everything perfect. I was doing all these stupid ass juice cleanse, parasite cleanse. I was trying to breathe in the prana, you know? And like, that's great and all. Meditating is great and all. But I was also trying to be 100% organic, 100% raw. I was like, I didn't even like, toasted nori was like, no way, bro. I'm raw vegan, you know? Like, I was just going crazy I wouldn't have mustard because there was a little bit of salt in the mustard so I would never ever allow that um roasted pistachios fuck you I would never like I was just insane I was totally insane and it didn't get me anywhere that I wanted to be because if you know my story after seven years raw I started having teeth problems and the reason was because I was eating so much dried fruit and that was because I couldn't I wasn't allowed to eat anything I didn't allow myself to eat anything that wasn't organic so I was missing out on things like jackfruit and rambutan and these tomatoes I wasn't allowed to eat these in my head because they weren't organic and I had to be I had to be a hundred percent organic I wasn't eating um, enough because I couldn't sometimes I couldn't find organic food in New York and um, so I was eating lots of dried fruit to get my calories okay because I love to eat so I'm gonna find a way so I was eating lots of smoothies lots of smoothie bowls, and lots of dried fruit. And I never knew how to take care of my teeth, and so I fucked up my teeth with the dried fruit. And I left the dentist's office crying hysterically because I was doing the best I could. I thought I was like the perfect, I thought I was perfect, and I had the perfect diet. And it turns out I didn't. I didn't know what I didn't know. And that was dried fruit is not a meal. You gotta water pick, floss, and brush your teeth after eating a lot of dried fruit. And you gotta relax. And you got to not sweat the small stuff. Because I'm telling you right now, in the beginning of my journey, I would never have bought these grapes because the stem, this is how crazy I was, the stem was not looking good. And I was like, I would be like, ugh, I was such a snob that like the stem had to be bright and green and beautiful. And that's great if you can find that. But you do what you can. You use what you have. Okay, you can't be 100% raw because of finances. Okay, then be... 70% raw and eat potatoes and beans and rice and quinoa and these things that are so much cheaper um, that you can store in the cupboard and you can have forever. Like 
You do what you can, use what you have. You don't just eat unhealthy food because you can't be 100% raw. You know, bananas are so cheap. Um, you know, non-organic, commercially grown produce is very, very cheap. Yeah, it's better to get organic, sure. You'll do that when you can afford it. So I just want everyone out there to know that you don't have to be perfect to get the results that you want, okay? I am getting better results now. Like I said in the uh, last um, Zoom that I just recorded with someone, it took 11 years. I think I said it on YouTube t uh, too recently. It took 11 <laughs> years for my hair to grow. My hair was never growing, okay? I had to do other things too. I had to stick to my raw food diet, okay? The results compound. I had to stop dyeing my hair. I had to stop washing it so much. I had to stop brushing it with a brush that was just taking my hair out of my head. Uh, my friend Sherry sent me an amazing uh, comb. I started using it about a year ago or maybe a year and a half ago. Ever since I started using this comb, my hair stopped falling out. Now, no hair comes out when I brush with that comb. But when I used the brush, you know, that I was always using, this like bamboo brush, so much hair would come out. So you see, there's certain things I've done besides my diet that have helped my hair. But that I'm just talking, basically what I'm trying to say is, is that it takes time to heal. It takes time. And, and if you don't stay on the diet long enough, you won't see the results. And you won't be able to stay on the diet long enough if you, if you fucking are so focused on the little things, trying to be 100% raw, trying to be 100% organic. You can't be 100% raw. You can be 100% healthy, though. You can't be perfect. You can't. I tried it. Sorry, I have like a grape skin somewhere. <laughs> you ever have that? It's like somewhere in my mouth. Okay, sorry. So anyway... You can you can aim for progress, not perfection. Please, if you're a perfectionist, I urge you to start saying affirmations in the mirror. You start saying, I love and approve of myself exactly as I am. And I know you're not going to believe it. And I know it's going to be very awkward. And I know you're going to be like, this is a lie. Well, then you, then you say, I am willing to to love and accept myself exactly as I am. And this is the affirmation I used over and over and over again to stop trying to be a perfectionist because it doesn't exist and I was actually hurting myself, okay? I wasn't being a healthy raw vegan because I was eating so much goddamn dried fruit, but it was organic. It wasn't the way. I should have just eaten non-organic grapes, non-organic things that I could find, okay? New York, it's like, <laughs> it's tough sometimes in the winter, you know, you can't get high quality tropical fruit and you can't get it organic. That's for sure. You know, you can get some some stuff in Chinatown, but it's not it's not like here in Florida. OK, all year round. It's warm and there's things growing. So I just want to let you know I was raw for nine years in New York. It is possible. But don't focus on being perfect. Just focus on being healthy. And you're going to it's going to serve you well. And I promise you. And the longer you stay on the diet, the more and more and more you will be so happy you did because the benefits come after years and years you get more and more benefits okay I'm I, I'm gonna say it don't hate me I'm not a narcissist I'm looking better I'm feeling better my skin is better my hair is better my body's getting better every single day okay after 12 years no I'm not deteriorating no VD what's her name vegan deterioration I'm not deteriorating you see that? No, I'm not deteriorating. Okay? I'm not um, dying of starvation. I'm not <laughs> taking any supplements. I don't have any animal blood, any animal byproducts, any animal secretions in my body. For, you know, I've been vegan for 12 years, vegetarian for 13. So, no dead animal body parts for 13 years. I am not dying of a protein deficiency I don't have uh, collagen deficiencies I don't have iron deficiencies I don't have any of these things that they say okay so and when, then what some of the haters are like well you're the 1% you're part of the 1% alright there's always something you know they're always going to say something the other day somebody said yeah Jeanette you're part of the 1% that can do it okay doubt it <laughs> I highly doubt it no I'm part of the majority that can do it, okay? The people that went back to eating animals, 
They were never vegan, number one. They didn't watch the slaughterhouse videos. They didn't make the connection. And number two, they didn't realize that, yeah, you're going to go through a period of detox and you have to support the body with getting colonics, okay, with possibly doing a juice cleanse when you get sick, okay? Not to the point of, you know, starvation and, you know, to the point of water fasting and dry fasting. I would never recommend that ever, but you might have to do a juice cleanse if you're sick, you might have to support the body with things like oil of oregano, colloidal silver. You might have to get colonics. That's what happened to me. I got really sick because the sick that I got was actually the healing, okay? When you go raw and you're eating healthy, you're going to start to detox and people are going to say you're getting sick, but what is happening is you're getting healthy. The crap is coming out. If it stays in, that's when you get tumors. That's when you get diabetes. That's when you get heart attacks and strokes. That's what happened to my sister, okay? She was not ever going to detox. She was on severe medication, okay? She had a brain tumor. She was eating lots and lots of processed foods. She was not going to go raw. She was not going to even be vegan. We tried our best. You know, I tried my best with her. And she did get healthier because I was making lots of juices and, and giving her lots of smoothies and stuff. But she was eating lots of processed foods and she was taking medication and she had radiation and chemotherapy. And there was no way that she was going to detox. So she just, every time she got sick, she took more medication. She took more antibiotics, you know, and um, it is what it is. And she passed away when she was 35 years old. And uh, it's very, very sad because she was a beautiful soul. And, um, you know, I just wish, and that's why I do what I do. That's why I make videos. I don't make videos just to like, you know, it's, it's a, it's not just a hobby. It's a life purpose. Okay. Because I know that I don't come from healthy people. Everybody in my family was obese. Almost everybody in my family had diabetes, lots of cancer in my family. Okay. So I don't have a healthy bloodline and I wasn't raised healthy for 26 years. I ate McDonald's and Dunkin' Donuts and KFC I am not part of the 1% that can do it. I promise you. I promise you. Fruit and vegetables, nuts and seeds. If you stick to a diet of these four things, I am telling you, your health will revolutionize. And if you get sick eating a raw vegan diet, DM me, message me, let's talk about it. Because I got sick too. And I went to get colonics. And, and I went on a juice cleanse. Okay, for like two weeks. I never got sick again. Okay, people don't realize this. Getting sick is part of becoming healthy. I'm sorry to tell you. And until you realize that, you're not going to succeed on a raw vegan diet. So you have to go through that detox. All right. I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, boo.